This is it. Two months of grinding. Every day, ReZero content. Season 1, 2, all the cut content. So much. The ReZero playlist right now, I think has like 230 something. And by the end of Season 3, which is going to span throughout how many months, bro? It's going to get probably a couple more hundred. This is it, man. The biggest season in terms of hype. Arc 5 is supposed to be Marine Ford levels of just greatness, just all out war, unga boonga action. I'm all for it. Then we get into Arc 6, which is probably distant future next year. But hey, let's begin season 3. What are we doing? Natsuki Subaru. He's training? He is very physically good, though. Remember, he outran the fucking great bunnies in the season finale. Thank you, Hyverax, for the prime. What the fuck is he getting the whip out? Yo, the fuck? It's <laughs> going on with Subaru, bro? Subaru, the fucking plantation owner? What the hell is happening? Animation look crisp, though. New weapon, maybe, yeah? You know that scene with Gojo? Just going like this? I feel like you could do the same shit here. <laughs> that Gojo meme went fucking crazy. I feel like you could do the same shit here, bro. Taking Gojo back shots. Yes, Instead, yeah. Super is the one taking the front yeah, shots. Yeah. Alright, he cleared the... I don't know, whatever obstacle course. Biko! Her whole tone is so different. Petra. <sighs> slice of life moment, slice of life cute music, it means life's about to get sliced. One year time skip. One year. Okay, that, that is, that's actually really significant. One year has passed. Because like, season one and season two, that happened like basically about a month and a bit, right? Season 1 and Season 2 was about like a month and a bit after like Jesus Christ himself arrived in this world. But now it's been a year, okay. I wonder what happened within that year of like other people's like acknowledgement of Subaru. Because that's what I want to see right now. Other nations, other important figures in the world acknowledging that Natsuki Subaru is Jesus Christ and has subjugated the white whale and the great rat. Like that's gotta be fucking crazy. Uh, <laughs> Yeah? Okay, they're still bantering a bit. Secret training? Is it just for Subaru? Yo, Biko, can you do this? We're gonna pay so much for all this happiness, bro. Like, like, like most people watching this just are happy about these moments and you just and can just like you know enjoy it. I can't because like I know what this means. Like the more happy we feel, like it's like a fucking meter of karma, right? Like the, like the higher <laughs> the happiness is, the lower the suffering's gonna be too. Like it's it's gonna be that fucking bad. But this is extremely cute moment, man. <laughs> Petra? Did Petra get bigger? So one year of him never dying either? Dude, they're in sync. Like, that's crazy. Their personalities, everything, the bantering, even like her making a move like this and joking around, they are completely in sync. This bitch better been fucking stockpiling mana throughout the last year. Because Al Shamak ain't happening. We're cooked. This is a useless duo. There is no mana. I hope she's been stockpiling something for this upcoming war. So cute. Did you? I <laughs> love the little hole they have, bro, in the their jacket for their tail. Anastasia? TV? Hetaro? No, Yulius? Alright. Ram. Superior twin. Ooh. So cold. <laughs> okay. 
me think of it, there's three lollies here, right? Mimi, Biko, Petra, yeah, lolly master, Nate being the allegations. Honestly, surpassing Reinhardt at this point. That's the fucking first time for season three. Okay. What? You shouldn't live in a world where your personal opinion matters the most. But my personal opinion matters the most. Okay. Garfield. What are we doing? Meeting? Otto and Nii. Let's see the new Amelia. Kick. Purple hair. Julius? No. He's not here though. Someone that really looks like Julius. Julius sibling? With the monocle? I don't know. Hey. First impression is not too good. That's right, no longer self proclaimed. Yoshua Eucrius, so part of Julius's family. Julius Eucrius. They really hate the letter J. Why don't you just fucking make it Y instead? Yoshua? Julius? Okay, also Amelia's. Yeah, the titties are just. <laughs> Good googly moogly. Okay. Younger brother, yeah? Same nasty look in your eyes. Same cynical, devious devil. Man, I thought that like Julius and Subaru has pretty much gotten over their little bit of, you know, rough start, right, in season one. And after we defeated Better Goose by using Nect, we were so intimate, bro. But that friendship isn't really there. In fact, Oto is more like Subaru's first friend, and Julius is. Someone that he doesn't really consider... I think they're definitely on friendly terms, but I think, like... I thought that Julius would be Subaru's first friend, but it's more Otto, you know? And Julius and Subaru, they're both spirit knights too, huh? Both spirit, you know, users that are both knights. You would think that, like, they'd be a lot more friendly, but Subaru is still being very petty about this. Is she always sat on his lap? 400. Very old girl. <laughs> That's right. Yes, it's, it's our baby. We kissed and made a baby. Baby. <laughs> oh, Chu. She learned. She learned. <laughs> Who told her? <laughs> Mimi is so cute. That's right. Great spirit. Yeah, show some respect. なんか問題あんのかよ。本時かと思いますが。あの、兄も聖霊記。あ、聖霊記ですので。ああ、もちろん知ってる。うん。世話になっ。You <笑> Okay, Big Bro Khan. He adores his Big Bro. I never understood why Julius is associated with Anastasia, right? Because, like, we're all Lugunica and Anastasia is, you know, Kararagi, but we'll have to learn in this season why there's such a close connection. Are we capping? Okay, okay, so far that's been glazing, glazing, glazing. You can't just say this. <laughs> you can't just say this. You, you don't even believe this shit. Don't fucking lie to me. Right. I'm turned off. <laughs> Mimi loves it. New idiom. Oh. Aren't they like same age, roughly? 
Garfield's like what, 15 at this point? Mimi also? Hmm. I mean, Ram is busy with Roswell. <laughs> I ain't shipping shit. Mimi's too fucking cute. Aww, Mimi's so cute, man. Mimi holding on to Garfield. What's up, Anastasia? Watergate. Water 7. Party. Found what Amelia seeks? An answer to thaw? Are frozen elves on Elior Forest? So here's my first theory. Here, here comes a schizo tinfoil theory. Are you ready for this? What if Anastasia already is under the assumption that Pristella is about to be under attack by enemy forces? And she's figured out that the best course of action is to gain help from the candidates, but also at the same time, call them during the battle. This hinges on the assumption that Anastasia somehow has foresight and understands that she's going to be under attack. But it is very interesting how it all starts with Anastasia just inviting all the different candidates over. Like, why would every faction just just gather in like you know the in, in like one of the greatest cities in Lugunica, right? How how does that make sense? Mm. Magic crystal. Magic crystal. Recalling. Puck? This is how we get Puck back to paying child support? <laughs> okay. Bye. No, I think something is happening. Mimi is just being very cute and affectionate, but Garf is like... I don't know, his like facial emotions, his reactions makes me feel like he's kind of folding for Mimi here, man. You can't say shit because you fucked a cat. I don't know if that's confirmed, but uh... Otto's first love was a white cat. <laughs> I can defend the flashback. You can thank Carmela for that. <laughs> so far? I'm really enjoying the whole production value of ReZero. I know we haven't seen any fights, but just like the art style, the shading seems a lot more bolded. I love the designs. It, it feels very good. It does not feel off. It feels very consistent with what I've known from Season 1 and 2, and I feel like it might be even better. Probably better than Season 2. I don't know about Season 1, but this is really good. It's one of the five great, right? And it borders on Karagi, right? Yeah, yeah. Sugoku. Water 7. Yeah. Beyond the Great Waterfall. Hmm. I feel like this is important for the war if we're getting seized upon. She's too cunning. She knows exactly what to do in the art of the deal, right? Understand what the opposition wants and dangle it in front of them. She's already won the preparation. What does she want? Anastasia surely must have other reasons. And we can't be the only one being invited. At the same time, letters are probably being sent out for Felt, Priscilla, Krush as well, right? Fuck. Is he just chilling in the crystal, bro? Just doing nothing? New clown music I'm hearing, isn't it? Roswell's face looks younger here. He does. The character model looks way younger than season 2. Western nobles. Western nobles. What's happening? Okay. Wow, he respects Otto so much to that point, huh? He has utmost faith in him to not fuck it up. Wow, 
相手がアナスタロウと話し合いを煙に任せれば俺は一級品だ。そんなことじゃないと思うの。そんなことはラムということで構わないか。ロズワイル様の心のままに。ラムはまとまったよ。ドニンのおもりはベアトリス。ビーコスカムボタス。おないかしら。OK。So it's seemingly like I'm not really sure what the whole assembly of the Western nobles or something were, but it's looking like Ram is going to be out of the fight, and Gar and Roswell himself will also not be joining, which is pretty. Well, I'm just assuming like whoever goes to Priestella, we're going to get like seized upon based on the trailer, right? And then there's like the attack arc and a counter attack arc. So I guess Roswell is not going to be participating in this attack arc. Oh, my! You said it was not going to happen. Okay. Emotional drunk. Yo, the boys. Otto has his own room. He has his own fucking table. This is great. Look how far we've come from just us walking down, you know, just like a random street in the sanctuary talking about how cooked we are against Roswell in season two. And look at this now. ああ、落ち着けて、夫はね。10オットまでって決めだったろうが。1日10オットって。毎日1。あ、俺ティーゼンジャスト10タイムだ。ラストクールダウン、オッケー。あ、ディドナンダスタンダ。ウィーウィー
一気に味方につけました。OK。本人の気質と美貌もあって、気に入りを生かしています。Damn。But that's it? All this bitch doing is fucking marrying into rich families and just fucking killing off the husband and taking their assets. And now people are like, oh, Glaze, Sun Princess, Sun Princess, bro. We literally subjugated the white whale that the last source saint couldn't fucking do. What are you talking about? And, and bed figures, what the hell? How, how is she getting the same amount of fucking clout compared to us? There must be other stuff, right? That's crazy. Yeah. Remember, these girls right over here, the APA salesman Kadoman Rish is their uncle, bro. Alright, so Priscilla is just popping off doing extra content beyond just, <laughs> just marrying in and just killing him. But Felt, she's basically rallying all the poor. <laughs> I'm sorry. Felt just rallying. I don't know how many of the, like, how bad, how, what, what is the population distribution, right? What, what is the distribution of the population in Lugunica? Like, how many of these pores are there? Because if there's like 70%, if, if, if Felt actually has the numbers, right? If there's way more, you know, people from the slums than other people, then I think that's pretty hype. Hmm, except Krushchi took a fat L. This is a great breakdown, Otto. Anastasia has literally been two steps ahead. Like, the whole white whale subjugation, she got out fast, man. Like, she took, she got what she wanted and she got out. She is probably in the lead, kind of. Garfield still running. Subaru and Biko, they're riding, they're driving. Otto's right. Nice breakdown, Otto. One year recap. Mm. Is Biko just staring at Subaru and blushing the entire time? That's right. We got a whole ass team, man. Subaru is rubbing off of everybody. Subaru's influence. Eyes on the road. I need to see this vehicle driving. Come on. Show me. Show me. No, oh, I wanted to see it. There it is, man. I don't know if the location is good or like bad for us, right? Because like I'm assuming it's gonna be like a siege. I don't know what kind of battle is gonna happen here, but like look at like the location, right? We're like surrounded by bodies of water. There's not much areas to kind of escape. So I think that it's pretty bad, right? If we're just gonna be trapped in here, like our routes of escaping. It's, I don't know, it, it's, it's looking like pretty unfavorable for a siege for us if we're inside. <laughs> it's Sanctuary all over again. Oh no, <laughs> we're gonna be stuck here for 25 fucking episodes. <laughs> no, not like this. No, 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 it can't last that long. There's an attack arc and a counter attack arc, right? We're probably gonna stay here for like eight episodes and leave. That's not like... The way that I foresee this happening, because they kind of gave out the schedule of how shit's gonna happen, right? There's about, what, like, 22 episodes for Arc 6, and about 16 for, like, what, Arc 5, right? And then it's gonna be, like, an attack and a counterattack. My assumption is the attack arc is us attack getting attacked at Priestella. I think that will probably take a fat L, most likely. And then we'll do, like, a counterattack where, I don't know where the fuck we're gonna find their HQ, but it's, like, a reverse attack, and that's gonna, like, wrap up. No, uh, arc five. <laughs> Good googly moogly. That thing is hanging. But I hear that in the web novel or the light novel, like the artist butchered Amelia's bus size in the light novel, which is hilarious to me because now it implies or it pretty much confirms that Tape has literally written like a description of this Amelia's like, like bus size. Like, that's funny to me. The authors have to, like, state how big the cup size is for all girls. Ooh, 
damn. Beautiful. Got gondolas. <laughs> Wonder what what's what is this gonna be plural? Instead of a gondola, it'll probably be like a gondolo or some shit. 400 important pre calamity. That's interesting. The city is meant to be a trap? The city is meant to be a trap? Are we trapped inside right now? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about regarding like the location, the ge like the whole setup of this place. Uh oh. All right. Yeah, about that part. <laughs> 400 year old technology. It existed dating back to pre calamity? I don't really know, but that's some important questions. What were they trying to trap? Us. Nah, there's, there's no way that this city was designed for this one specific arc, but back in the day, I want. Roof flag got away. Oh, what? Dragon drawn boats, bro. So these are not land dragon? What are they, water dragon? Hey. Was that a race? What was that? Was that like, you know, you see someone in traffic and you're like, vroom, vroom, motherfucker, I can go faster. Nice. So much Japanese, right? Like, Karoragi is supposed to be like a merchant state resembling what modern capitalism society could look like. I'm assuming everything is because of Hoshin of the Wilderness, who is another being that was mentioned in the web novel cut content back in season one of, you know, Beyond the Great Waterfall, right? So that's who I thought might be behind the basketball too in season two, in the trial when we see Amelia back in the forest. There is a fucking basketball in her room, but... I'm assuming that all the Japanese influences here is because of Hoshin of the Wilderness. Yeah. Nippon. Yeah. That, that, that dress is so... Oh, and this is so aggressive, bro. This dress, like, is insanely aggressive. And you see the belly button, too. Yo. And not only just the Japanese structures, the literal, like... Kansai accent, which I'm assuming Hoshin must be from a place where they speak in that dialect back in Japan. Yokoso. Yulius King really doesn't like him. Yeah. What? Yeah, night, bro. Spirit night. <laughs> he just really hates Ikemens, I think. Oh, that's an insult. <laughs> I thought it was for Otto for a second. I, th I thought Yuli was just like, Oh my god, it's the godlike merchant. Otto, holy shit, it's him in, in person. No, it's for Pico. It's for Pico. <laughs> for Otto, bro. <laughs> yeah, Julius respect spirit, spirit night, makes sense. Rejected. Brody, drill lolly. Dice it. True. We're on a different tier. But even if we're on a different tier, I feel like Julius is more effective as a, like a spirit knight right now compared to Betty and Subaru because we have no fucking mana and Subaru has a broken gate, like... What are we going to do about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she wants cute snacks. That's so aggressive. Mimi toes. Mimi gripper, bro. <laughs> Mimi loves Garf. What's happening there, man? Hmm. <laughs> Poor Otto. That's his entire character. I don't think he's ever gonna escape this fate. Nippon! Number one. That's right. Culture. That's right. You fucking filthy foreigners. Gaijin's always stepping inside with the fucking dirty shoes on. Take that shit off. Show some respect for the inside. 
He was mentioned in Garfield's idioms during that episode where he was getting really mad. It was an idiom talking about how Hoshin would just fucking ravage an entire small city, right? He literally leveled that shit. So yeah, pre-calamity. 400 years ago, pre-calamity character. Yeah. Mm. And honestly, in, I, I guess this kind of shows that the web novel cut content, right? The web novel cut content. Priscilla. No, that's the Great Waterfall. Anastasia mentions Hoshin of the Wilderness in the web novel cut content and the Witch Cult translations, right? But if Subaru is saying shit like this, I guess that's not really like quote unquote canon. Is it light novel? Then why is he acting like this? Then he should have already known the information before this. Yo. Yeah, why are we invited? Magic Crystal. Muse Company. Have I heard that name before? What? The man whose heart was stolen by the songs. Yo, is that the lolly? Is that the lolly that we see in the cut content? It was like a singer. Dancer? Some sort of like bard lolly, right? Is that where the name is familiar? Songstress Mania. It's a side story, but it was kind of involved as cut content in the Anios video. CGI there look crisp. Hmm? Control power. Important water. I feel like this is going to be such an important choke point during the siege, bro. Okay, this is the water tower, control tower. Okay. Meteor. Okay. You can't get the water dirty. You get fines? It's like littering. Is he actually nerfed by the water? I'm scared. I'm not sure. Like during the fight, I wonder if the water's gonna deter him. Look, look. Uh oh. Ignored. Sickness? Motion sickness. Is he gonna puke? Yeah. Motion sickness. Past memories. All right, we're gonna be conveniently separated. Okay, we're not gonna meet the songstress maniac just yet. So what's Super and Biko gonna do? I'm sure this is very intentional. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Okay. Nice to see how close they are. Are we lost? Betty's not admitting. She's terrible with directions. I think she is. She don't want to admit it. Okay. Sure. You got no clue where we're going. Look at her sweating. Important character coming in. Lolly incoming. Side story Lolly. Dude, I vaguely remember her design. Jesus Christ, here we go. Where is she? This is like the very center of Pristella. This girl, this girl. It's actually not as bad as I expected. I don't know why. I remember like the light novel side story cover picture I saw was just so fucking fan service. This honestly isn't as terrible as I imagined. Pride mention, pride mention, pride mention. These looks are terrible.
Maybe those lyrics kind of represent what Subaru is. I don't know. I just got no future, no money, no dreams, no nothing, but I have my pride. That sounds very fitting to Natsuki Subaru back in season one. What's up? We ruined it. They hate us, bro. Oh my god. I don't know. I thought that maybe like people would recognize Natsuki Subaru because of this heroic miracles that he's created throughout season one and two. But I guess people over in Priestel don't give a fuck. Alright, alright. <laughs> Bruh. Betty just lets it happen. Betty's like, yeah, you deserve this. Hasn't died. Who knows where the checkpoint is? The checkpoint must be when we made it inside Pristella at some point, right? But it's very interesting that for like over a year, no death, just peaceful times. Probably better to do that because she got no mana. Is this mute? Duawa. <laughs> What? Duawa, age differences in. It's okay. If she's a prepubescent child in a G string, she's actually a very old demon lord. Draconoid, meet him never! Woo! Is that the theme of this song? What, what, what are we gonna do right now? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're like, what, 18? Vehicle is 401? There, there's a big gap there, you know? Wait just a little, just a little longer. Wait just a little longer until you reach the age of consent. <laughs> what is this song? Oh shit, he's rapping. We making a baby? We making a fucking baby? Another lolly has been added to the lolly mancer's harem. Muse, welcome to the group. I don't know. He just, that was the song. He just knew the lyrics, man. Liliana, not Muse. Okay. Betty jealous. Okay. So when she was talking about no dreams, no money, no nothing, all I got is my pride, is she talking about herself? Sounds like she's just busking and just like kind of struggling to survive. One second. Oh, sorry. Technical difficulty. One moment, one moment. And we are back. Yeah, I see that. She a bit of a ditz. She is. There's a guy that just fiends over her. Wait. That and this- no, no, no. I, I thought that she said something that Subaru said back in, like, Arc 1. There was something very similar about this mental gymnastics, about how that was then and this is now. I feel like that's the exact same thing that Subaru said. I got no money. Yeah? Society's ups and downs. She's fun. No, you have to- No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I don't want this. You're gonna fucking make me pay for this shit. She's scamming us. Petr Goose mentioned my goat. Biko, no reaction to that name? Maybe- I wonder if they've ever encountered each other in the past, but- I have been coping so hard and hope that Better Goose secretly lives with down within Subaru through the Sloth Witch Factory. Somehow, some way, I just hope that Juice makes his return. That's my copium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
ex-member now. Yeah? What do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. So our recognition is getting spread, but they think we're a lolicon. Little girl user. I mean, he's not wrong. They're not wrong. We do use them. Lolly Mancer. Mm, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yes. I love this. Dude, our feats are spreading wide and beyond, but I wonder if they know about uh, the White Rabbit. The Great Rabbit. Mm. They do know. A literal legend. Yeah. A literal fucking legend. I think that Subaru should literally have a statue in the royal capital of Lugunica of him just doing this pose, man, due to like all the things that we've done. I, I, and I don't think that's even enough to compensate him. Like, it's kind of crazy. Stop it. Maybe. Little girl user, Lolly Mancer. Maybe. Masquerade, last name. Kiritaka is the fanatic person for the songstress, right? Okay. Maybe. Not Russell Fellows. Here comes Eliana. Oh, he's a lollicon. Well, that confirms something, definitely. She's just a girl, not a woman yet. Mm. <laughs> Kibutaka is shocked. Uh-oh. Get off of her. Don't touch her. Yo, the crystal! That's a little insane. Holy shit. That is true. Like, that's his lolly, right? It's not our lolly. It makes sense. But I can't believe he fucking threw a fucking crystal explosion like fucking Heisenberg. Wrestling. We were wrestling with her. EMT. EMT. <laughs> That's crazy! He just walks! <laughs> just, nobody senses them. Biko doesn't send his senses which is miasma? Biko can sense the miasma, right? I, I don't know. What, what the fuck? I, he just secretly just walking in, bro! <laughs> oh, that's my girl Alicia with the fat juicy rate during the pinnacle of my stream where I've held my stream hostage for about six hours to watch Reezer. What's going on, Alicia? Thank you, Alicia. Have a great night. And guys, let's get back to the content. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say this right here. Did you just walk into me? Did you just violate my personal space? You dare walk in the same lane that I'm walking? And then he should start attacking. But he's on his best behavior today. That's interesting. Uh, this is very rare. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. no don't touch her. Stop! Yeah, careful, careful. We don't get to see his face at all, huh? Mm. For now. What is fate, bro? The Archbishop has already fucking invaded Pristella. What's happening? And nobody knows him, right? Nobody knows him. Subaru has never met him. Otto has never met him. I expect Biko to be able to sense the witch's miasma from Regulus, but maybe that's not how it works. Amelia should remember from the trial, but I don't really blame her if she doesn't remember all the details, so... Okay. Like, Amelia should know, but... I don't know, trial stuff. No. 
tomorrow, I think that bird's gonna fucking explode in the sky and black feathers are gonna come down like in the trailer. No, no, no. <laughs> kind of familiar, huh? Yeah, and we didn't get to see his eyes the entire time. How many wives does he have? Thank you too much, Baka, with the prime. Yo, how, many, how many wives does he have? Let's just say he has 390 wives right now. I feel like Amelia might be 391. I don't have a good feeling about this. <laughs> it's like, uh, if we count all the alive ones, not, not just, like, if we count the dead ones and the alive ones too, but like, it's looking like Regulus says, um, he has a keen interest on Amelia. He likes the silver hair. Maybe because he also is very affectionate for the Witch of Envy? I'm not really sure how that works, but this is looking pretty bad. Dude, those honkers are insane at this angle. Okay. Bye, Otto. Don't get assassinated. Garfield? Who is this? It's him. <laughs> it's the goat. <laughs> it's, it's, the, it's, it's, it's the goat, bro. The the um ex noble runaway son of Rickert, right? This <laughs> I'm assuming he's with the felt camp, that's why he's here. He is a mini boss man, an Arc One. He, 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 like he actually is an Arc One mini boss man. He kills Subaru in that one run accidentally. Then he felt very guilty about it because he's never killed before. I've always wondered though, what is what this drip? He intentionally looks like a fucking escaped prisoner with like this collar. I think it's just fashion. I think he's so chuny. He literally just wears his collar to make him look like a thug. You got quite the update, huh? You got an update. He looks way different from season one, man. <laughs> okay, he's not the dumbest. <laughs> Which one is dumb then? The big guy? <laughs> dumb, dumber, and dumbest? I don't know, but these dudes have, again, survived against Reinhardt, which is the strongest being in existence, as well as one of like the strongest people of the Volakian Empire too. These these three are no regular thugs, man. And they've probably been in like taught by a Reinhardt at this point. If they're joining the Velt Camp, like bro, I cannot believe they have plot purposes right now. <laughs> Dumber, yeah. <laughs> you. Ratchins. <laughs> Even dumber. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. Mini boss, Arc 1. Yeah, I wonder where they are. Where, where is Dumb and Dumbest? <laughs> the Lolicon has shown up. That's right, Subaru's a mere lolly man, sir. Look at that aura, bro. Look at that aura. He knew. The presence. Reinhardt. Sword Saint. Partial Chat! Reinhardt! Yeah. Casually having a conversation. This partial transformation hand literally like just crushed Elsa's skull back during season two. Reinhardt's casually having a conversation while holding him off with one hand. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's a legend now. Yeah, when was the last time we met? Is the last time we met literally when we told Reinhardt to fuck off when Reinhardt was trying to like help us, but we were like really really upset and angry with ourselves <laughs> yeah friend all right Vanastria. garfield tinzel that's right tate tate no yusha so humble and kind, man. Like, imagine if Reinhardt had Regulus's personality. Like, it, we're so lucky Reinhardt's like a good-hearted person. Honestly, now I think about it, Reinhardt with the Regulus personality but still on our side would be hilarious to go against, like, yeah. It's a dude that just talks mad shit. Now that I think about it. Not like as like an evil opposition, but someone that's still on our side, but it's just like talking like regular. That'd be hilarious. What? Hmm. Yeah, aim was true. Since his aim was true, I was able to stop him without issue. 
I feel like this is the shit that Reinhardt does again. Like he told Rachins and like dumb, dumber and dumbest about, oh, thanks to Natsuki Subaru, I was able to, you know, survive this. If it was only me, I don't know what would have happened. It, it's, it's him just literally just like being humble right now, right? Sugoku. Blame Crunchyroll for the subs, guys. Not my fault. Mm. That's right. I'm assuming that Teresa of Austria is grandmother and, and Wilhelm is grandfather. Therefore, yeah, there is that connection, right? <laughs> and that means that Reinhardt has been training them, bro. Yo, dumb, dumber, and dumbest, I'm pretty sure all joined. Bro, these three thugs. <laughs> these fucking street thugs are getting trained by Van Austria. This is crazy. This is fucking crazy, bro. I wonder how capable they are at fighting. Alright. Five second flare. <laughs> yeah, he will show up within five seconds. I wonder if that's like a divine protection. That's responsible for like responding to flares or some shit, but all right. What's up, Garfield? You feel a little bit. Oh, yeah. I don't even blame Garfield though. Like, bro, it's it's Reinhardt of all people. I don't think like there is a saying. There's always someone better. He is literally that limit, that standard. Like, there's no one better. Well. Some people argue like Satella versus Witch of Envy versus Reinhardt, like it'd be like a stalemate or something, but he truly is like the pinnacle of strength. Oh, Krush. Hmm? Felix. What's ah. up? Everyone's here. All we're missing is Pris uh, Priscilla. Ah. My goat. Grandfather? Mm. Reinhardt. What's their relationship? It doesn't look too good. I don't know. It's not like a smile, it's like a concern. Wonder what's going on. Plus, it's kind of interesting how Wilhelm has just been like ex sword demon, retired, and is now just kind of backing up Krush, most likely due to his belief that the covenant with the dragon is bad. But I wonder, like, what's going on here with grandfather and grandson? <laughs> Where's Priscilla at? Mm, what a surprise. Awkward. Uh-oh. Priscilla. Priscilla got denied. The... So she's actually not going to show up Priscilla? But in the trailer, we saw Aldebaran and Priscilla and the pink here showed us. So like, nah, she has to show up at some point. She hasn't done shit in season two either. There's no way the Sun Princess is gonna miss out on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Belton and Anastasia getting along? Lips. Okay, right? We want to get Rem back. We want to get Crucius' memory back. We got to defeat him. Have we found this location? Nah, nah. There's no way Anastasia's a cunning, just very, just ruthless businesswoman. Even though Rem's memories are erased, there's no way Anastasia doesn't know how important she is to Subaru, right? So like 100% Anastasia knows. Yeah, of course. Dangling it right in front of you. So does that mean that Anastasia has found where the gluttony, you know, exists? I'll get it. I'll get it within this stream. I will get it within this reaction. But I guess like we know where gluttony might be or we know how to like draw them out. <laughs> Smart. Who's gonna slay him first? 
13 year old kid that's kind of fucked up you know how we realized that garfield was 14 last season and it's just like oh my god we've been dealing we've been bullying a 14 year old kid there's an entire fucking party forming just to kill a 13 year old kid right now i guess she's i guess he's 14 now Belt. what's going on so, Romji here? You know that clothing appropriate for her is some dainty, frilly little dress, bro. Lolicon. Okay. Oh, little bow. Wow, she's matured a lot. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it for the formality. She knows how to, you know... Act professional, that's the important part. Karadagi style. Oh, we're gonna get a hot spring episode. Hot spring. <laughs> massage? We got a massage chair? Alright. What's wrong, bro? Is he still about Reinhardt? Oh, he's taking this really personally, huh? I thought that most people would realize that if it's Reinhardt, then it's impossible. But Garfield's like, nah. Like, I need to be the strongest, which I can definitely respect. I don't think so. Peek? Chira, chira? The sound effects! So cute! <laughs> Please look at me. Kashira, look, look, look. Look at me. Su, 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 su. Oh, we're going to pay for this so hard next tomorrow, bro. The day after here. Dude, oh my god. So many horrible things are going to happen because of all these slice of life moments. And I just realized something. You know what's very interesting? What's very interesting is how Garfield is so down on himself right now due to that exchange with Reinhardt. But remember, the first sword saint ever, which is Van Austria, Reed Austria. His book about martial arts and fighting, he read that shit, and he like learned off of him. I don't know, that's kind of interesting, but I'm sure that he's gonna get along well. Alright, one more time. Chira. Chira, Chira. Does she want Subaru to see it? Wow. That's great. Yeah? Yukata Betty. English. EMT. Ooh. EMT, bro. I realize that, like, Krush as well. White Fox's dedication to, like, the lips just looking so fucking plump and soft is crazy, bro. <laughs> he gushed. Felt. Useless night. 14, 15 now. How old is Reinhardt though, actually? That condescension with the total lack of self-awareness isn't convincing at all, implying that Reinhardt also is very super young and is super fucking OP, right? And he's judging Garfield right now based on his age. But, like, they're probably similar age, right? Reinhardt's mid-20s? 21? 20? 22? Somewhere around there? Okay, okay, okay. So he is significantly kind of older, a little bit older. Subaru is, what, 18 right now? Reinhardt could be 20, up to 22, who knows? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted Romji to be here too. I want to see Romji in an outfit like this. Come on. Romji at? Yeah, he, she like walks over him. They do. Hmm? I, I don't think she's lying. I don't think Felt's lying. Phoenix is lying there. I think Phoenix had that one opportunity to actually say like, yep, I'm just literally here to just ogle you. Just niddle you. Trying to play this innocent cat trap maid. Nope. I'm just here for you. I don't think Felix is joking. I don't think so. That's not good. Yeah, the lighting, you know, blood red. That's not good. Garfield looking out into the distance. Uh-oh. I can't 
scream right now because if I scream, I'm gonna get a noise complaint and I might get evicted. But oh, oh, there's a way for her to return. Yes, it doesn't matter if she's not alive. She simply her just showing up like this just makes me hot. I'm just, I'm just so glad. If this is the only Elsa we see, I'm totally fine with it too. I'm just happy that she's actually in season three as like some sort of illusion or something in Garfield's mind because. A crazy um, theory that people had was like, Elsa's a vampire. So if Elsa bit Garfield, wouldn't Garfield turn into a vampire? Now, I don't think that is necessarily what's happening here. And somehow we're seeing blood-related illusion and stuff like that. But I think that... Let's, let's see what's going on, right? Let's see what's going on. Is it like PTSD trauma? What's going happening? Her titties look way bigger. There's even a buff on those gazongas too. <laughs> <laughs> what what's happening like what, what, what are people in the public gonna think you just oh, you'd be like what the hell yo that, that cat's fucking off his knockers give us a catnip but you're weak yoai <laughs> let's amazing angle cameraman thank you so much I am so down with Garfield being schizo and having Elsa show up just to taunt him like this. What? The sunlight being red was just imagery? It was never actually red. It's just when Garfield goes to the schizo mode and talks to Elsa like this. I'm not completely sure what's happening. Maybe they'll cut content, we'll explain, but it's either some sort of trauma, PTSD, during the fight with Elsa. I'm not really sure a connection that they shared during that fight. Maybe it has to do with the mutual biting and Elsa being a quote unquote vampire. Who really knows? But I am so down with Elsa being back in the schizo way. Mimi! Oh, Mimi! Ah, Mimi! <laughs> Wonder who's stronger here actually between Mimi and Garf. Probably Garfield. Mimi is very strong though. <laughs> Yeah, you're being a normie, man. Yeah, I mean, Ram also said the same thing before in season two, right? Garf, you're fucking stupid. Just stop thinking, just do it. Mimi's kind of right, too. Stop overthinking it, bro. Just be you. Mimi Garf is. So wholesome. I think Mimi's gonna die. Why are they doing this to me? <laughs> I straight up think something terrible is gonna happen to Mimi at this rate. The amount of focus, how Garf is going through this new turmoil of not being the strongest outside of Sanctuary. Mimi kind of being there as his like support. Slice of life means life's about to get sliced. Mimi is like a top candidate to get fucked up. <laughs> Mimi's so cute. <laughs> Please leave Mimi alone. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're on that grind, baby. Yeah. That boat. Does that matter? That boat just like left before, right? Before they were talking, that ship was just kind of leaving. Um, hello? What's happening here? Does this matter? I think it's just a literal ship. Is this like them telling us that this is a ship? Like an actual ship is in front of us. Yeah, a ship. What's happening? <laughs> Tell me, ass kids. They deserve this. Let them die. <laughs> All right. That would have been so funny. The kids wouldn't have died. They would have just gotten a little wet, bro, as the boat just fucking submerged their ship. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Wow. He's so cool right now. Gafi. Oh. Gorgeous tiger is your nickname? Of all the adjectives you could have picked to make the tiger seem very fury, like ferocious, you, you pick gorgeous? Interesting. Ah! Oh, dude, he's even doing the pose. Oh my god, he's doing the pose too. <laughs> I 
this point, I want all the boys to do the fucking pose like that. Everybody should do that pose. <laughs> Amazing pose. Oh, sashimi. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to hear any of you filthy gaijin saying, Ew, you eat raw fish. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. It's fucking frozen first. You can eat it raw. It's safe. Science. Think for a second. Uncultured swine. Wasabi. Yeah. My. And then pickled ginger. One leaf of that. Just like a palate cleanser. Mm. And then to the next one. Biko loves it. Did Biko try too much wasabi? What's going on? She's crying. <laughs> Cream blob poison. Wasabi. I wonder what they call it here instead of wasabi. Is it gonna be like wasabi? Something different. Wasabu. Mimi. The blue kid is still here. Kid. Yeah, where are you going, kid? Oh, who your sister? There she is. Red. Garfield, protect Fred. Oh. oh, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. The sister was not old enough, but the mother. Mm. Looks a lot like Garfield's mom. Looks a lot like Garfield's mom, but. I mean. The trial did not conclude. It, it nothing confirmed whether or not Garfield's mom died or not, right? So it's potential. Who knows? I don't know. It's it's there's there's it, it, the name as well, right? Fred and Raphael. I don't know. I I I don't think so. I think this is supposed to just remind them of the mother. It's a lot like her. Yeah. Is that her? I can't tell. Casa. If this is, if this really is Garfield's mom, yo, this lady fucking, thank you, Alter with the Prime. Yo, th this lady just, not only did she fuck another demi-human to get Frederica, and then another to get Garfield, <laughs> then she went out to just fuck someone else, <laughs> and hit third exactly. <laughs> she on a fucking run right now, man. Three baby daddies exactly. <laughs> Minimum three baby daddies. And it's assuming Fred and the other sister are actually fucking real siblings, right? What if they're also had siblings? What if Fred and the sister also there's there's an implication of a four fucking baby daddies? Cool. Yeah, dude, this lady is wild in. Yuko's so cute and she just wants some tuna. What's going on, Wilhelm? Yo, is Wilhelm gonna fucking talk to us about the Grim Reaper blessing? The permanent wound that he has that opens up when the person that gave him the cut is nearby and Teresia was the one to give him that wound? Is that gonna fucking happen or what? Finish him. He does. He looks very good. <laughs> Little sus there, man. This old man is taken. Yeah, about that. Wilhelm does not roll that way. <laughs> How unfortunate? <laughs> mm. Yeah, tell me about your stories, man. I love their relationship. Subaru is basically the grandson, bro. <laughs> I feel like what Wilhelm and Subaru has going on should be what Wilhelm and Reinhardt should have going on, right? This feels like a grandson, like, showing up to, like, a grandfather and getting some old stories. <laughs> いま以上に唇で言葉の足らない剣を振ることが私の全てで剣を振るまでに思った
歴史に名を残り続けたわけではありません。そしてのも同じです。That's right. あなたの名前も。今はあなたが思う以上に。That's the shit I love, right? This is like, again, one of those things that exists in one piece as well as like the entire world gets to understand your achievements, your acknowledgement, all the different characters that you're interacting with. It starts to realize how amazing you are. Like, shit like that always. It's just such great world building. And Wilhelm, bro. Like, I wonder exactly how far his name has spread. Wallachia as well? Are they thinking about Natsuki Subaru? I, I, I don't know. Like, what about Gusteko? Karagia, for sure, maybe. I don't know. What's that? 私は確信しております。スワルドのは一人でなしではなしない誰かを集めてなのだと。The Uniter, Pleiades. スポケだと。True? ええ。There is no hesitation there, bro. I'm just a useless, insignificant loser, really? Yes. I love that about you. しょうもないろくでなしですよ。Mm. Yeah. Yeah. しっぽけでどうしようもないろくでなしのあなたが。<laughs> yeah, because that means that you'll just go around, you know, picking up useful people that can solve it. ろくでなしのあなたが、私は好きなのです。喋りすぎましたかな No, keep talking, Gramps. スバルドのと話していると、いつも思ってしまう。そして私は、自分の孫とこうし。That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Super o is the grandson of Wilhelm. Wishes he had with Reinhardt. Why is Reinhardt? Because it has to do with Theresia, right? Because she supposedly died during the previous subjugation of the White Whale that happened like a hundred years back or something. I forget the exact timeline, but I'm sure that somehow strained the relationship and like the position that he had to take on as the next sword saint. Reinhardt to no k o y o k dekin o in d e s o No. Kozok d e He married in. Watashi ni wa onore no jinsei no naka de. Three regrets. Ryuken. Oh. This is some important fucking lore. So, this looks like when Theresia died. This is Wilhelm when he was a sword demon. This is probably after, yeah, after w h a l e subjugation. There's the dragon sword. I cannot believe the dragon sword was drawn and it's still fucking lost. Maybe it was never drawn. I'm not sure. And then some shit's happening here. Did he just blame the kid in front of all the knights? Is this a Mushoku Tensei Paul t e r u d i a situation? Because Reinhardt from a young age has been so fucking OP. Like, right? Like, him at like, at like five years old, like super young age, the kingdom has already recognized him as like one of the greats, right? Is this like a situation where Wilhelm is like lashing out at Reinhardt for not being there for your grandmother and this, this is your fault? I don't know. Hmm, something bad happened. I love that. <laughs> I, I love how, like, we just like, concluded like an epic part of the discussion and then. Roll the wind. Roll the wind. Oh, the wind. Oh, that's the scene. Definitely has to do with it. Yeah, Reinhardt wants to know. Wilhelm, talk to him. I hope I'm wrong, but I feel like this is another death flag. Like, could this be a death flag for Wilhelm? Like how during whatever battle happens, he dies without being able to convey that emotion over to Reinhardt until his last breathing moments. Like, oh, please don't do something like that. Type Moon. Fate. And the scariest part about characters like this characters that already had a death flag that seemingly seemed dead, but you know, he survived the White Whale. That's the scariest part. Like, I think there's a pattern of behavior. I can't really list some examples right now off the top of my head. Sasha actually comes to mind in Attack on Titan, where these characters, yeah, and, and Nanami as well, right? I don't wanna give too much spoilers, but like, let's, let's not mention any name, but there's a lot of characters where they seemingly have a death flag, but they survive, and then they die, and it's like, oh, so, ugh. All right, it's next day. Regulus is ready for the heat. <laughs> Regulus is ready, bro. <laughs> Victory! We're doing the fucking radio exercises still every day. Victory! Victory!
あっちはひどいありさまな。ワラボーコネクションズ。そういえばオフェルト Ratchins is internal affairs officer for belt camp? <laughs> really? Wow. Oto is basically him? Mm. But five seconds for everyone else, but for Felt, it's one second. Oh. Holy shit, one more time. Holy shit. They banter a lot. <laughs> what kind of disgusting thing is that? This is such a satisfying friendship scene. Felt really dislikes Reinhardt because Reinhardt pretty much kidnapped. <laughs> what if this is not a joke for her? You know? What, what, what if what if this is not a joke? Okay, you've okay. Your entire fucking message is L subs, L subs, L subs. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck do you want me to do about it? Shut the fuck up. Go blame Crunchyroll. Go fucking write an email to them. Fucking complain. Source the different mo moments. Why don't you become the fucking translator, motherfucker? Also, by the way, uh, what was happening? I was saying, what if this is not a joke? And. We're all like Reinhardt is grooming and this is like a child crying out for help, but everyone is like just laughing this off and this child is like, you know, please someone save me, but everyone laughs it off. Yeah. What, what about that? Think think about that. Mm. Here we go. I expect some shit to pop off in this last moment of the episode. Amelia's laugh is very cute. Rare? Anastasia without the hat. <laughs> I haven't seen Ricardo today at all. Not return. Return from what? Mimi and Garfield are hanging out. Uh oh. I feel bad. I feel like this is the first big steps to disaster row. Mimi and Garfield, they gone somewhere. Ricardo has not returned from where the fuck has he been? I don't even know. Usually, letters never go well in this show, right? The blank letter from Rem, the letter for Amelia back at the sanctuary. There seems to be this pattern of behavior with letters and just bad shit happening in ReZero, so... Uh-oh! Do it, bitch. Push. Tea time? Alright, we're still having slice of life funny moments. Tapenyaki. Tapenyaki. Not tapenyaki. Daisuki yaki. Daisuki basically means like, I love you, right? But yaki, tapenyaki, I love yaki. Don't know that. <laughs> Yo, we're definitely gonna pay for these slice of life moments, but let's enjoy them while they last. Cute. Very cute. Yeah. Vehicle, let's see yours. Yeah? Okay. What about Otto? Awesome. Okay, yeah, what the fuck are they cooking? They ain't cooking shit. <laughs> That's probably so awkward here. <laughs> just Wilhelm and Reinhardt. Like, they're just awkwardly not saying anything. Just just making their fucking daisuke yaki. <laughs> Divine, how could I forget? Did you guys not read the cut content? 
Reinhardt has the divine protection of Daisuke Master. Daisuke Yaki Master. He double fucking plips it, bro. Everyone else is struggling with one. He is literally double, double pancake right now. Look at that. <laughs> Damn. Spoiled princess. <laughs> Wilhelm? <laughs> Wilhelm can't cook for shit. Oh. Good morning. The hell? Every morning? There's a dude on the fucking radio broadcast? This is kind of nice, but I feel like I get pissed off if I wanted to sleep in and these motherfuckers are just yelling. Hey, they remembered Bomb Ben again. That's what Garfield was talking about. I don't know what to focus on right now. I'm reading two separate subs at the same time. My brain is fucking exploding. I have a little gift. What's the gift? There's a blessing coming. My brain is dying right now. Liliana singing. Yeah. What's the song? Sword Demon? <gasps> Wilhelm. Ooh. Any translators in chat? Any, any, any translators in chat? Blame Crunchyroll. Email Crunchyroll right now. Such a beautiful song. <laughs> Wilhelm, what do you think about this? <laughs> This must be so awkward. He's like having his own fucking song while he's fucking up his fucking pancakes right now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> his strained voice is amazing. Hey, grandson, you wanna talk? Oh. Oh, will you help me cook these for your old man? Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah, Wilhelm's gonna die. <laughs> Wilhelm's gonna 100% fucking die. <laughs> Mimi's gonna die. Wilhelm's gonna die. <laughs> Wilhelm's bro, stop it. Please stop it with these sentimental moments. Oh, fuck. Van Austria. Van Austria. Father. Son. Reinhardt's dad. He's a fucking drunk though. I wonder if Otto was drinking with them. Okay, Father Van Austria here. Yeah, not on my voice actor. Not a good dad, I guess. And keep in mind that this is the morning. <laughs> this, this, this is the morning. It's like 8 in the fucking morning. <laughs> Bro, I don't know if he got up and started drinking or if he never went to bed and he's still fucking having a binge party right now. But, you know, it's not a very good look for a dad, especially for Van Austria. I wonder if he's just like um, a stain on the family name and someone that people don't like. Or maybe he's a super prodigy that can get away with everything and is super drunk all the time. Hey. Who? Slice this little brat apart? Vice Captain of the Knights Commander. So there's Marcos, right? Knights Command, like the Captain of the Knights, uh, the Royal Guard, right? The Royal Knights. And then there's Vice Captain, which is this guy. But he has such title and prestige, yet being such a fucking asshole. I guess he must be the real deal? Really? I couldn't tell the joke. Name only. Why name? Maybe he's just getting carried by the Van Austria last name, but he can't fight for shit. Hated. Well, he's very aware. So it's seeming like he is just kind of like a failure. Not everyone, not everyone, just because you're Von Austria, I don't think it means that you're just like a sword fucking saint, right? Like, like, not everyone is talented. Maybe this guy is one of those people and he's just by name only to keep up some sort of image because he's Reinhardt's dad? Says you. <laughs> so shit. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Felt does not like this at all. Reinhardt, you
He's definitely instigating. This is not good at all. He just throwing the fucking family drama shit pop. Reinhardt killed Theresia? He avenged the previous master swordsman, Sword Saint. What? And that goes to explain a little bit more of that little flashback scene with younger Wilhelm admonishing nine-year-old Reinhardt at the tomb of Theresia. We also know that Theresa gave Wilhelm that injury of the blessing of the Grim Reaper. That still makes no sense to me why a loving wife would give that to a husband, but this is crazy now. Something went wrong. Maybe Theresa, Theresa, Theresa got like possessed? Like how in episode 23, you know, I'm not sure if this is the same mechanic, but you know how we have to kill Subaru because Betrugis was in there. But something bad happened during that shit. Theresa did not just die by the white whale. It was a child that had to kill her due to some circumstances that we don't know just yet. Yeah, this is terrible, bro. What the hell? We were fucking flipping pancakes. We were, we were flipping fucking seafood pancakes together. Reinhardt, will you teach me how to do it? Okay, Gramps. <laughs> then drunk dad shows up. Just shits on the entire family. <laughs> Here it is. That's what we saw at the gravestone. <laughs> we were gonna reconcile, bro. But you had to bring that shit up. Maybe it's better that this un... No, it's not better. But like, we would have to get over the hurdle one of these days, right? Bruh. Heinkel, you're a fucking asshole, man. Oh, there's some lore between a Van Austria and just an Austria. What does that mean? If you don't have, if is Vaughn basically only Sword Saints? That's what it's seeming like, right? Theresia had Vaughn, Reinhardt has Vaughn, Heinkel doesn't. Maybe. Oh, Emilia. It's the start shit. Start drama. Half Deem, bro. This guy is actually just. In the fucking morning, bro. Holy shit, bro. I don't even have breakfast yet. This is the main instigator. He just, just creating so much fucking drama, but I appreciate it. It's fun. Thanks to him, we're getting a lot of fun content right now. Ooh, mature. Start shit. <laughs> not taking the bait. Good job, Amelia. And Lena not taking the bait. Yeah, he just got rolled. <laughs> and now all the fucking ladies start talking shit, bro. <laughs> all of them were fucking silent when it had to do with the Austria fucking drama. And as soon as they start talking shit to Amelia, Amelia like claps back once. And every all the girls like, yeah, shut the fuck up. Get out of here, loser. Yo, red high heels, color red, bloody bride, is the sun princess here? But she was not invited. Why would she be here? With Heinkel? With Heinkel. Oh shit, there she is. Oh, Priscilla soundtrack. No way you don't remember. No way you don't remember. Really? I mean, in this perfect timeline, the um, pig's greed licked my boot never happened. But she still don't remember the oppa shit that we did for her? Same with, like, you know, the legend of White Whale, Great Rabbit. Like, did you not hear any of that shit? Is she just trolling? <laughs> if she, we were really that insignificant, huh? <laughs> Damn. I love how in this frame too, they're trying so hard to hide Al's arm. It's not a secret. Al does not have a left arm, but quite often due to his helmet, the poncho, and other characters flashy, most enemy onlys didn't even fucking recognize that Al only has one arm. That fucking blew my mind. When I had to go back to season one, it's like, wait, what? Doesn't have an arm. He doesn't have an arm. 
And he's an isekai character, just like Subaru. What? You never noticed? Look, right now! Where's his left hand arm, bro? Look! He's just doing this, not this. Right there? But you would have never known that, because they did a pretty good job distracting you from everything but his left arm. Zashu. Okay. Kyle is with Priscilla. That's it. She just wants content. Man, even this fucking positioning, Reinhardt and Wilhelm facing the other way. This is so sad, bro. Priscilla is just fucking shit up, just throwing the drama shit pot. Rewrote the script. <laughs> she don't know what you're talking about. He's talking about the past shit, but she doesn't know any of that. <laughs> she has a fucking insult for every single person. For Amelia's half wit, for Anastasia, it's Vixen. Yeah. <laughs> Little girl from the slums. Priscilla 1v4 right now, man. <laughs> Straight up fucking 1v4. Huh? Wait, 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 what? Astro family estate isn't going to Reinhardt after all. Oh shit, there's some fucking... Succession war within the family? What's going on? The family estate's not going to Reinhardt? Well, who's it going to? <laughs> Henkel has a lot of political power. <laughs> yeah. Therefore? You fucking asshole. What, Reinhardt doesn't have a divine protection to overcome these family disputes? Even him is weak in front of fucking... Thanksgiving dinner right now? What the hell? There's no blessing or divine protection to get him out of this shit? It's a nightmare. I see. Starting to see a little bit more about like Felt and Reinhardt's relationship and how with this family drama happening, Felt can correct Reinhardt like this and help him up and stand proud. Okay. Hi. <sighs> you're, you know you're, you, you know Heinkel's gonna live but Wilhelm's gonna die in this arc, bro. I just feel like that's what's gonna happen. There's no way Heinkel dies and Wilhelm lives. Like, I, I don't think we're gonna get something like that. These kind of trash lives forever. They're like cockroaches, and the good people die, bro. I just- that's how I'm feeling about this. Dude, she still calls him a peasant. What was that? What was that? Was that a fan? Yeah. She just fucking uppercutted him with the fan, bro. Holy. Pulling this shit out of her ass? She 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 just pulled this shit out of her ass? Hime-san, <laughs> was actually super sick. The Yang Sword? We need some cut content lore out of this, bro. What the fuck? No wonder she was not pressed when dumb dumber and dumbest, you know, just. Fucking with her in the in the street alley, like beyond just the fans, the Yang sword is just this sword that just spawns out of nowhere, and then what? What happens if you slash it? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh. I think her strength is insane. You know how we've seen Amelia in Break Time and Frozen Bond? Sometimes she's really strong. Right here. I think that, like, Priscilla, like, 
Her strength is insane. A little tap like that on Al is enough to make him go like that? Shirts must be the Shota. Pink hair Shota. <laughs> a little Shota has to drag out this fucking drunk dad out of the thing. <laughs> okay. You, you, you. What? Huh? 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 Where'd it go? The Yank so just appears and disappears whenever it wants. It, 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 it's a fucking magic trick. It's gone. I don't know. I don't know. No. She... So you playing Genshin Impact, right? Bao, right? Fucking... Uh, again, uh, Shogun, right? She, she like... Right? Priscilla does the same thing with her fan, right? Her, her fan also comes, comes, comes up. That, right? Does the Yang Sword... I don't think the Yang Sword comes out like that. It just appeared. It just like... It was like, what? The Yang Sword? I don't know where it is, man. Maybe, maybe, it's, maybe it's in there, though. I shouldn't say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. Fuck it. The fan comes out of the titty, but the sword comes out of the... Oh. Yeah, she has to draw it out from her ass. That's right. That's where she's hiding it. The fan from the top, the sword from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yin and yang. Yin is her fan, and the yang is her sword. Oh, it makes sense. Yes, it's 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 lore accurate now. She's still bullying. <laughs> Belt doesn't back down though. Giga I really love how Felt has changed so much since the last time we saw her. Maybe she hasn't that much, but like her confident look right now, even this pose right now, it just like makes me so confident in Felt. Priscilla respects that. <laughs> You're all NPCs. I am the main character. I wonder what's gonna happen during the All Out War. Is she just literally gonna do nothing? <laughs> watch her do nothing, bro, and just watch. I'm not too sure that the fan is the Yang Sword. I think the fan and the Yang Sword are two separate things. It could be though, who knows? Maybe it's like a preform. <laughs> no, I bet they appreciate that Subaru was mad on behalf of Reinhardt and Wilhelm against Priscilla there. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> it's all underhanded compliments, but basically because Subaru lashes out, other people feel like they had their share lashed out and can remain calm and make decisions. Oh, that bow! Damn, bro! Usually we get fucked up, right? One second. Usually these uh, righteous indignations are like the problems that Subaru has back in season one. But this time it wasn't really for ourselves, but on behalf of others. Maybe there's a part that he lashed out on behalf of Amelia that we saw in Royal Capital, but still, I feel like this is great. Why is it that they can never get along? Like, bro, just take the fucking compliment. What makes you think I was mad for your sake? Like, there is something off here where it's just like maybe there's. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe there's like plot related reasons why Subaru and Yulis can never fucking get along beyond just a Stundere thing and hating Ikemen. Like, this is crazy. That's what he's thanking you for. Hmm. Covering his heart with an armor. Yeah, the whole professional act, the chivalry, that's the armor. 
but what his heart truly desires is what Subaru did, that self-righteous indignation. <laughs> <laughs> Unshaven guy. He will. I'm pretty sure he has been. Yeah, this is a lot of family drama there. Pinekel is. What happened? What would come of one who treated him inhospitably and became rebellious towards the kingdom? I think we should assassinate Heinkel. And the will. Needs to be forward such that the, the state goes to Reinhard. Easy solution. Yep. Yep. Let's kill the drunk dad. Let's get the rights back to Reinhard, bro. Fuck this guy. You would look bad. And that's the crazy thing. Why does he have the most fucking clout? Do they not recognize Reinhard? Wilhelm? Wilhelm is obviously not married. He married into it. He's not like the main Austria family, right? I kill this, but like that was nepotism and like bureaucracy exists in the Austria family. <laughs> felt, felt. This is it. This is the event. The age lines up. The royal, the uh, traits of Luganikan royalty: blonde hair, red eye, fang. This is felt right now. <laughs> Okay. Interesting. Felt kidnapping. The timing along with the white whale subjugation, Theresia. Then something happens and Reinhardt has to step in and kill her. Fuck that family. Now one has to wonder. Don't you think it's a little bit too con co like convenient that the kidnapping happened just when the white whale subjugation was happening with Teresia? What would have happened if the sword demon was there with the sword saint? Probably would have been a much better outcome. Someone is pulling the strings behind the scenes. And when in doubt, blame Pandora. Easy, bro. <laughs> when in doubt, just my default answer is Pandora. It's the laziest answer. Besides that, who would have intentionally steered that? The kidnapping of the princess. Is it just a coincidence, maybe? Maybe it is just a coincidence, but I always blame Pandora because it's easy. Mm, that line there? Remember what I said. Stop being such a perfect knight. Stop hiding your heart with the armor. Heinkel being a potential person who coordinated the kidnapping might make sense too, yeah. That's kind of ballsy though, that he would literally sacrifice his mother, who is the source saint. That's, that's kind of crazy though, right? It's, it's, I know that human greed can know no bounds and they might be able to do some heinous shit like that, but that, that is an insane thing. But you see how he treats his family, so at the end of the day, it could be reasonable, yeah. Yeah, just be Yuli, bro. Yeah, just be Yuli again. Yuli the mercenary. I like that. Role play again, bro. It's been a year and a couple months. What? The role play is getting a little bit too immersive. What are you, what are you doing? Suddenly it'd be you and he was like, hmm, I see everything is so different now. I see the truth of the world. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're not making sense to me. Is he just being Juni? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, um, there is 15, 16 minutes left. And I think that the last like 5 to 10 minutes should be the credit. So shit should go down. Shit should start popping off. Any moment now. Here we go, guys. Sugoku. Yo, Regulus, where you at? How he's always holding Biko's hand. Very stubborn. Liliana? Oh! I love... She's dances flamenco? 
I was just about to say, this is one of my favorite, like, guitar shit. Like, I love, like, Latin influence, like, this kind of guitar. Priscilla dances on that? Oh my god. Ooh! Let's go! Huh? I wish you got to see more. She can dance. Mm. Priscilla acknowledges Liliana. Wow. そこもできなかったけど、今日もここにいてくれて助かった。なんじゃ貴様。わらは落ちろじろと見つめを。だが踊ってたのが。いや、みつ。あ、俺ね、ever どうじゃ。わらわのそばで歌目として使える気はないかいません。バット。もう声な評価。ライブメンションアゲン。ライブメンションアゲン。バット。若田割りさせていただき。ほう。なぜわらわのバリリアナ。現役主人です。オッケー
ロマネコンティですロマネコンティと申します。No des. The most the something else. Not not des. Maybe it's like a female variant of what des might be. Looking at her design, I do recognize the double sword sigil here. I forget exactly where I saw this, but we see the symbol a lot. There's like a collar, one eye, single tear. It's basically wrapped up in all these bands. Okay. Bald, bald. Yo, this soundtrack, though. Yeah, I did. We're cooked. Yeah, Subaru and the girl and random NPCs. Okay. She, she just fucking yapping, yapping, bro. She just pointed at random people, took 30 seconds to all silent. I don't know her whole personality. Where is the super angry part? Maybe we haven't seen it just yet. <laughs> She's very excited. What's so angry about her? Her entire like voice acting has been very exciting, right? Affectionate. Almost kind of erotic. I don't know what the hell her deal is. <laughs> Look at this guy, bro. He got four girls. Hey, isn't that the Natsuki Subaru guy? The little girl user? It's a lolly master, L subs. Pedophile. Smooth. going on here it's a little pointy i think we know some other pointy eared characters in this show but let's keep that in mind and her eyes <laughs> serious is pit of portuna guys no 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 i don't know i'm just looking at the hair color I'm just looking at the hair color it's like silverish there's pointy ear and if you look at her eye too Look at her, sorry, eye, right? It's the same shit as Amelia. So like, hello, half elf, I guess. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just guessing. Not really, not necessarily half elf because Fortuna wasn't a half elf, but also had, you know, pointy ears, silver hair, you know, fucking eye color like that. But very interesting features right now. <laughs> A crazy theory <laughs> would be Betrikus and Fortuna actually fucked and had a kid. And that's why it's Romani Conti. And that's why <laughs> the health. Why not, right? We're just fucking around right now. Do I think this is true? I don't think so. I'm just memeing around, but why not, right? Why not? <laughs> Everything is so funny. Wow. <laughs> Can we just go home now in peace? No. I think something bad is about to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Authority of wrath. Yeah. What is it? Heart? Mention. <laughs> no, stop it. Stop going with the flow of this. This is so bad right now. I don't like this at all, but this is hilarious. No, no, no. 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 Rachins himself has now confirmed all of our death right now, bro. Are we gonna get a first death today? I don't know what's gonna happen. I feel like, I feel like, like, authority of wrath is about to happen and there might be some kind of preconditions required for it. Like, I'm scared for what we're doing right now or how everyone is just comfortable. Oh boy. <laughs> Mm. Oh, you're gonna give your thanks. 
Thank you and sorry together. Oh, the weapons are hot. The weapons are hot. What is this? Some kind of like chain sickle scimitar swinging thing? What's your dragon? And the Kim pissed his pants. Oh no, what's happening? Also, Garfield and Mimi, where you at? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this poor Shona! <laughs> Appa. Appa in frame. We got him! We got him! Forbidden Apple. Appa is in frame. Everyone else is acting as if this is normal. I think the authority of Wrath is already happening. I think that people thinking that this is fine somehow Sirius has already worked her like powers i don't know exactly how but everyone just acting as if this is just casual and just fun ain't no fucking way <laughs> yeah when is it <laughs> yeah who's bad nine-year-old kid <laughs> <laughs> okay, close friends. Okay. So you picked the shoulder instead? Okay. And a magic trick? What are you gonna do next? What's happening? Her power is some sort of like AOE hypnotism, some kind of mind control. Everyone here is perfectly okay with this. I want you to look at this frame and apologize right now in chat. Right now, I will take all 600 plus of you hostage right now until the person shows up in chat and admits that you were wrong. Look at the kid's legs, you fucking retard. You think that shit's cut off? Look at it. Look at it. Your dumbass has been commenting this over and over and over again. I've been ignoring you. Show up right now. Apologize. Apologize right now, fucker. I'm not ending the stream. I'm not watching this anime anymore. 645 motherfuckers going to be held hostage right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care. It's 3.52 a.m. I'm going to sit here for the next two hours until that motherfucker shows up. Mm-hmm. Honestly... <laughs> I don't know what their name is. <laughs> and like 10 people have already apologized, so I'll just keep going. <laughs> Uh-oh. She's crying. Oh, God. I know, I know, I know. Eyes are red now. I don't know. It's, it's becoming even more crazy. Everyone has become fanatical cult-like, right? Their eyes are red now, crying. <laughs> is this a sort of madness? Wrath, right? Authority of wrath. Is this madness we're seeing? Hysteria at play. In my body? <laughs> This is like a cult leader, man. This is straight up a cult leader. <laughs> Help! Help! Don't like him. You <laughs> could throw him off. No, don't drop the kid. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't drop him, don't drop him. <laughs> you go in head first. You go in him. I mean, it's probably better that way. I don't even know. You want to break your fucking neck immediately and just die in peace, right? Like, oh. Uh. Everyone else? That's crazy. So like, her powers, I'm still not sure. But authority of wrath. You have like this control over people 
that just makes them just go fanatical and start fucking going crazy. Like, it's almost like a madness. And once that has been established, whatever happens to... I don't know what the other condition is. This seems to be some sort of hostage situation, right? If this, it's like a voodoo doll, and if the voodoo doll takes damage, then everyone else takes damage at the same time. This is crazy. Yeah, the heart is all together, man. The heart is one. I mean, she's been going off talking about the heart, right? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> at this point. <laughs> it's been a year, bro. We're back at the sanctuary. <laughs> Kill me if we're back in sanctuary, dude. <laughs> no, it's gotta be Pristella. We gotta be in Pristella right now. Liliana. Snacks. Okay, this is our checkpoint. Got it. It's been a while. It's been a fucking while, boys. So what are we gonna do? What's the answer, bro? Right now, Sirius has already taken that kid hostage. There's nothing we can really do. To say, I, I, well, maybe we could climb the tower now because we know that Sirius is going to be there. But this is... Oh, man. We have, like, no time. <laughs> We're cooked. It's been a while. Theatrical malice is today's episode. Is there any more? Episode 15! Oh, 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 credits rolling down. Oh, credits rolling down. We will do a separate opening ending reaction with the visuals when it shows up. And I'll most likely have to skip the visuals due to potential spoilers. But that's today's episode of ReZero. Two hours and 42 minutes in the making right now. 43 minutes. Give a little round of applause for every one of you. Movie night. It's four in the fucking morning for me, but it is what it is. Damn. Today's episode was great to just get us all situated back into the world of ReZero. For a lot of people that's unfamiliar with the content that's been happening because there's been many years since season two. Alto did a very good job in explaining what's going on. I love this part about the world building of how to like, 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 you know, uh, hype up, right? One of the things that I love about One Piece again is like newspaper episode where after you complete one arc, the troubles, the, the, the difficulty, right? You accomplish something, you defeat a warlord, a Yonko, and then the entire fucking world gets in the newspaper. And this is similar, right? Alto just going on glazing, white whale. Beatrix Romani Conti, right? Great, the Great Rabbit as well. It's fucking crazy what Subaru is doing. And now we are at Pristella. And a part of me wants to do a schizo theory and, and think that Anastasia knew ahead of time somehow that, you know, uh, Archbishops are attacking Pristella for whatever reason and lured everyone in here. Maybe it's a bit too uh, sinister for me to assume that, but I love my schizo theory, so I'm going to go with that. We learned a lot more about Reinhardt's backstory. Reinhard, Wilhelm, listen, Reinhard has his own weaknesses too. His family drama is just fucking terrible, and this drunk motherfucker Heinkel is the root cause of it. But what if he's also the victim and there's something else going on? I'm not really sure, but Heinkel is a piece of shit. Priscilla, bro? Yang sword? What in the fuck is a Yang sword? Priscilla suddenly has just like risen in my like hype tier list so much. Cause like I thought that she was just a girl that just talk shit and maybe kind of powerful with her fan, but bro, Yang Sword? Nah, nah, bro. This shit was so fucking hype. And what are some other really important parts? Julius and, you know, Subaru's uh, um, relationship is still not the best it can be. There's a lot of really cute moments for Mimi as well with Garfield and all of that. And the last moments of this, right? The last moments of this. Not only is Regulus greed here, right? We don't know where live Bikentos is, but based on Anastasia's very, very important letter, Gluttony may be nearby, and we have the authority of Wrath being portrayed. Everyone saw. I have no clue. It just seems like there is this AoE, <laughs> like, hypnotizing element going on where everyone is clapping along, and they're not even questioning how bad it is that this kid is literally about to get dropped. And everyone's cheering on, and once all hearts has been united as one, as the kid's head snaps, so does everyone else's. This power is very, very unique, very powerful, and the theatrics that play is crazy. But beyond that, the craziest shit is how she is potentially an elf or a half elf. She has pointy ears. Her eyes matches the color of Fortuna and Amelia, and her last name is also Romani Conti. What am I supposed to think, dude? That Juice and Fortuna secretly were fucking back there in the trials? And little Amelia didn't see any of it? I don't know, but it really 
makes you think about like, how did this person get created? You have the Romani Conti last name along with elf traits. What the hell is happening? Maybe something happened beyond that. Or may maybe Juice was so like uh, down bad for Fortuna in his mind and is he so twisted right after Pandora took him away and then he, he got it on with another elf. I don't really know, but this episode, amazing way to start season three. And this is just the beginning, man. That's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.